Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed down in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So what I'm channeling prophetically, right? This is an energy um, based on words that I was exposed to yesterday um, from a video that I watched, right? Um, this video was an analysis of a specific movie, but in relation to that, the prophetic channeling that is coming forward right now is of what throughout that whole video analysis of the movie something specific was said and that's what's coming forward um the analysis or analyst of the movie said that um it's let me bring it to the message itself and directly towards you because that's how i'm channeling it there is somebody stuck in between wanting to take you out in terms of eliminate you from earth wanting to be you and then wanting to be consumed by you in terms of like it's like how the analyst put it is like speaking about the character of the movie she's speaking about the character in the movie and her relationship with a specific person the relationship dynamic and it was along those lines those very straightforward lines of this person doesn't know whether to whether she wants to um, bring death unto her, be her, or kiss her, right? And this was woman to woman. Um, within the year of 2024, as we've entered it, the heavy energy that has been surfacing um, and we've been encountering it is jealousy right so there is somebody stuck between the lines of wanting to be you kill you or kiss you all right and let's tap in further to the message but that was the prophetic channeling that came forward here okay there's things that bring out certain parts of who we are there is people that bring out certain parts of who we are there's situations environments that bring out certain parts of who we are and i feel like 
you are bringing out something out of someone you've activated this version of themselves within them that they never knew existed or they suppressed it for too long long enough to ignore that version of themselves okay it's a very interesting energy that we are tapping into let's see what this message is about beloved thank you so much to you all in the name of god okay the most high okay yeah we have the seven of cups literally somebody does not know what you mean to them who you are to them they don't know how to define how they feel about you what they think of you seven of cups there is so much that this person can say or so much that this person can feel think when it comes to you but it's all indescribable it's not it's not a straightforward like i know how i feel about this person i know what i think of this person i know therefore where i stand with them this person is all over the place all right they they don't know where they stand with you they don't know how to look at you and what to think and feel indefinitely as they do so it's like distortion right we have the seven of pentacles here so seven seven energy seven is the number of warning alerts beware be careful okay we have the seven of pentacles um we have the king of wands as well we do have scorpio energy we have taurus energy we have leo energy we have sagittarius energy we have aries energy as well So whether this is um, same gender rela relations or opposite gender relations, masculine, feminine, take it how it resonates, okay? Feminine towards another feminine, masculine towards another masculine, or feminine towards a masculine, masculine towards a feminine. Take it how it applies for your reality, beloveds. However, moving forward within the message itself, this person is has been for a while dedicated to figuring you out with the seven of pentacles you know if you take a look at the seven of pentacles energy it's it's like this person and the seven of cups they're dedicated to figuring all these layers of you out and they're trying to figure them out in a specific way there's a certain way in which they're going about it um this person the way in which they're going about it is like they're trying to unravel uncover you through their own perspective or perspectives right based on their emotions and their thoughts i'm seeing that this person doesn't know you for who you are or the room the space they have left is to fill in the gaps with assumptions you know hence they're just going to build you within their mind and heart building you based on their own thoughts and feelings about you not the truth of who you are right this is what they've been doing this is the energy they've been in it's 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 been a long while um but the interesting part of all of this is that this is also somebody that is very intrigued by you. Like, um, it's almost like drawn to you. 
um, captivated almost like a, an energy of somebody who's in a state of being of really feeling connected to you. It's like they want to... I'm seeing something peculiar here, strange, a little bit odd. Page of Swords, we have Gemini energy, Libra energy, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, this is somebody that... Back to the prophetic channeling that we established that came forward prior to us tapping in to the message itself. And it was based on the in-between. Somebody is in the in-between when it comes to you. They don't know whether they want to um, kill you, um, be you, or be with you. Intimately, right? They don't know where they stand with you. They don't know how to describe you to themselves this is a very personal um thing that this person is undergoing because it's not that they're trying to establish you to another person like oh this is how i feel about this person and they telling someone else so this is what i think about this person and they telling someone else it's more like it's within they're trying to understand how they feel about you and how what they think about you within themselves but they're lost in your identity and have been for a long time trying to fill in the gaps interpret the void trying to figure you out We have judgment. This person has stopped trying to figure you out with judgment here. It's like they've had enough of decoding your identity. It's 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 become a task that they cannot bear or an action they can no longer take or decision and choice they can no longer make. They just they don't have it in them anymore to continue with trying to figure you out. They've invested too much already in doing so, but they haven't gotten anywhere with it. They feel as lost as they began. They feel as lost as when they began doing it initially, trying to figure you out, decode your identity. Okay, it, it didn't take them anywhere. This person is still in the same spot within themselves, like mentally and emotionally, okay, even spiritually. So the odd, peculiar, strange thing here, it's interesting, yes, but it's still odd, peculiar, and strange. Like... I'm literally seeing a crazy phenomenon. It's like, imagine if we could all unzip our skin, like, and be, I don't know, like skeleton, and then like put it back on and like put our flesh back on. I know, but like the metaphor of that is of that phenomenon is based on like this person if they could wear your identity and become one with it or one with you in that way they wouldn't miss that opportunity they are lost within how they feel about you what they think about you but there are things that this person would allow themselves to do actions they would take, words they would speak, they are things in relation to your identity. Back to what we said in the energy where we established that 
it was established within the energy that this person in general based on just humankind not just them there's things that versions of ourselves that people bring out of us so events circumstances situations trauma pain environments you know objects things that bring versions of ourselves out like even clothing like all of a sudden you feel so attractive in this um type of attire or outfit and it just brings out this you know you just you know it, it's in those little things but obviously it can escalate into a different level new heights so what you are bringing out of this person they don't understand it they can't describe it yes but it can it's like it's a particular power that you hold over them here you hold a specific power over this person you have power here and it's unintendedly so i i don't see you deliberately putting this person in a position to be in this energy it's like they put themselves in this position so things that they would do for you they wouldn't be able to do for anyone else because you're the only one that can activate that and enable that within them that version of themselves that they don't even that they can't identify because they're not familiar with it it's like mm, this is um becoming deep here let's see let's proceed We have the lovers here. We have double Scorpio energy. We have double Gemini energy. We have the page of wands. We have double Aries energy, double Leo energy, double Sagittarius energy as well. It's like this power you have you hold again I'm seeing a prophetic vision a prophetic channeling as I said that right um prior to me um tapping in I was looking at a I was I wasn't watching TV but something popped up on the TV screen and it was um a specific like it was an image right it's like it depicted somebody standing outside someone's house like just looking at the house from the outside the gate was closed and you know it was a very um yeah it was like Hmm. let's see here you guys Ooh, we have the king of cups here so we have triple scorpio energy we have pisces energy we have cancer energy as well um So, furthermore, right, do take that how it applies for your reality, um, but furthermore, within the message, the capability of what someone is willing to do or say or however way they're willing to act exceeds their own willpower, like, this person ha has no control over themselves when it comes to you. There is no fine line that they can't cross or boundary. Or... They just become so formless, faceless, weak, 
when it comes to you meek as well that depiction i saw that came through as a prophetic channeling of the person outside someone's home that's that's strange that's odd that's peculiar to have somebody just standing outside your place of rest whether that be a house or complex an apartment a condo even a shelter a hotel where you reside they're just standing there and you know that person or you know that they're there because of you like it's it would be and you have no form of connection with them or anymore or at all or never you know like it's strange so it's 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 furthermore establishing that energy of like formlessness no control weak meek energy that they're in currently like you have power over someone here and it's not intended it's not intentional it's not manipulated it's it's it exists within them and it controls them because it's above their own willpower their own free will which is their own decisions and choices that they make and what they want to do what they feel and what they think it's this power is 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 it, it it destroys all of that and just puts them in a position where they do anything say anything act however way it's yeah it's crazy it is odd strange it's just peculiar here we have the hermit um we have virgo energy Even if this person within their actual reality, their life, their world, they are a specific way. When it comes to you, they just lose themselves. And they, it, gets, it gets deeper and deeper each day. This loss of self, this loss of self gets deeper and deeper. There could be other contributing factors that enable this person to dwell further and further into your identity, your energy, your life, your world, your reality, you know, contributing factors such as maybe people, substances, memories, you know, thoughts, emotions, environment, lifestyle, you know, but... This person is just, they've dug up this rabbit hole and they, it just keeps getting void. Like it just gets deeper and deeper as they go. And they can't stop themselves. This is, that's that power coming forward. Like whatever you mean to this person, as much as they can't put it into perspective for themselves, it's clear that it's beyond it's it's we have the ten of swords we have triple gemini energy here it's clear beloved that um somebody really back to they don't know whether they want to be with you be you or end you be you be with you or end you they're in that in between constantly. They just don't know. This person tries to distract themselves, right? With this Eight of Pentacles, they try to put themselves in certain predicaments, positions, and situations, and circumstances that just cater to their 
sanity like they try to remain as aloof detached and emotionally unavailable and mentally like aware of themselves when it comes to you but they utilize distractions like they do whatever go wherever say whatever just to distract themselves they consciously distract themselves it's not like they don't realize that they're doing it they are doing it with intention it's like a conscious decision right they want distractions ace of wands they want to put some water to the fire that is burning within them when it comes to you like towards you towards the situation at hand however way this goes within your reality your life and your world take it how it applies but um there's just a lot of fire within this person it's 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 a, it's a lot and none of these distractions are working right they're just enabling this person to sink deeper within themselves and find a reason to dwell like sinking we have the sun and even when they are within the distraction whatever it is wherever they are whoever whatever they're doing as a form of a distraction they find themselves still going back to you in their mind and their heart right in thought and emotion they just travel to you within themselves in that way and um it consumes them it does so clearly the distractions are not working as we've established because they just they it's just they we have the knights of cups here um i do see that like there will be instances within the first six months of the new year of 2024 whereby you either gonna encounter this person directly or indirectly directly meaning you will see them at a place where they shouldn't be when it comes to you like that analogy reference point case study and example that came in as that prophetic channeling that vision of someone outside another person's place of risk someone just standing and just looking at where you lay your head and they just outside like just very strange and odd peculiar instances that are going to occur within the first six months and that was just one example analogy reference point case study of how it could occur but it's instances like that where it's like what are you doing here or you clearly followed me or like are you stalking me you know um with, whether you on your feet or in a vehicle or um even a freaking aircraft like you're going to experience something along this energy with regards to this person the energy of strange peculiar oddness right and indirectly could be like you will hear about so and so been asking about you or really really someone wants to like be around you see you talk to you and they've been speaking it to certain people that are mutual to you or people that will come forward and say hey did you know how someone is so desperate to be in your energy like indirectly indirect encounters are going to be along the lines of you're going to hear you're going to know something right and you could even see something indirectly where um someone sends you a specific screenshot or picture of this person's conversations with them about you or you know this person posted something with you in it and it's not real or something like along those lines there's a lot of strange energy within this message um odd and peculiar right but um let's wrap it up so just expect that this energy of a person is going to remain in your energy all right they're not gonna go away anytime soon they're not planning to 
they're still gonna dig dig this this rabbit hole even deeper than it already is within themselves with regards to you they're just gonna go further and further within and keep sinking right so i keep hearing don't save her she don't want to be saved or he don't want to be saved right they yeah they know what they're doing it's not like they're unconscious of all of this right so take all this how it applies for your reality beloved this was your message from god ra allah source the divine i'm grateful for your time and i thank you so much for joining me on the prophetic vessel show to those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my patreon on my patreon i do offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path i also offer on my patreon personal readings for fifty dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path career and finances as well as ancestral messages the link to my patreon will be found down in my description box below or you can join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via google search it and it'll lead you to my patreon website i thank you all for everything and i will see you all soon goodbye